what of our vlogs as of this last probably six months or more don't start in the car <laughs> uh, welcome to the vlog Hudson and I are headed downtown for uh, we're headed to radiology Children's Mercy Hospital for a bone density scan they called yesterday and said they needed to get her in for one to schedule one basically and asked uh, if I needed to do it when I wanted to do it it'd be more like end of January or they have an opening tomorrow which is today at 1 o'clock so it's uh, 12 25 and we are hitting the road Hudson is uh, Hudson's been doing really good I know I have not vlogged in a bit because of obvious reasons we you know we were in for the uh, if you're if you're if you're a regular of this vlog but we've been in for her surgery and we were there for a week and now we're three weeks out from that and she's doing great she's been in the best mood um and until today like almost it seems like almost all of her other issues were kind of fixed with the back surgery her digestive system seems to be moving pretty pretty fast uh however her bms aren't uh, aren't necessarily coming along as fast as we want them to We've had to do a suppository, like a Dolcolax every other day, just to, just to keep her moving. This last one, yesterday, didn't, it produced a very small amount, and today we did one in a very small amount. I think she's a little backed up. So, she's uh, probably gonna give me a gift <laughs> while we're out, because that's just the luck of the draw, how it goes. But it's uh, it's making her be a little bit, little bit gaggy. She, she hasn't been pukey for basically, two and a half weeks but this, this morning uh, she actually threw up in her bed so I had to get that all changed out and everything she's been fairly gaggy today she just had her her lunch or part her first lunch we have she gets two lunches about an hour and a half two hours apart so that explains the towel yeah that's why you're wearing a towel for a bib huh Hudson Ann but can you give everyone a smile and let them know you're doing good back there yeah, we're just we're just dealing with some gagging. So we're gonna you're gonna be good. No problem. Alicia just left. She's been here all morning helping out, but she was not able to stay this long as um, her kids are um, well she's gotta get her kids from school. So the rest of the news, we have interviewed a new nurse to fill in the rest of our hours that we have available for the month. And she is hopefully gonna come in for training I think next week she's gonna do some like overnight hours for us uh, to give well to give me a bit of a break because I'm up I'm up late with Hudson pretty often so yeah we'll probably have a new new member of the vlog <laughs> and uh, and that's about the only thing that's that's new right now so don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film at this bone density scan uh, but if you'd like to see what it's like at a bone density scan, you can just go visit that episode right up there in the corner. Just click that little link up here in the corner and that'll take you to an episode that talks about bone density scans and shows, shows what it looks like in there. But yeah, okay, let's get there and uh, get back. I don't know. I don't know what today's got in, in store. Okay, we got here and I have pulled in. I don't know if you saw the episode about trying to get the parking fixed um, for oversized vans here at Children's Mercy. So far, it's looking like a fail. They did, however, put in a ramp. So let me switch over to my camera here. I only have about three minutes before, before we have to really get out of here. So right here is uh, the ramp that they put in, which is awesome. And all of this area is supposed to be for van accessible parking. However, I don't, or oversized van accessible, and I don't see a single oversized van in here. Um, but I definitely see cars that aren't, that shouldn't be in here. So it's not that these people are, are wrong for parking here, it's just that they don't know, they don't know that this should be oversized van. This car can fit in the garage. That car can fit in the garage. That van can fit in the garage. Everything here can fit in that garage down there. But when you get down there, the van that we're in won't fit. So I uh, I actually thought of this a couple of weeks ago. I was talking with my neighbor 
um, who does design. And we're trying to come up with a sign that would make it obvious that even a, a child in the vehicle would say, hey dad, we're in a minivan. We shouldn't park here because we can fit in the garage. So something like that. Something that's just like so simple. So this doesn't happen because I don't have a choice to go down in the garage. All these cars do. And there's plenty of parking down there now because uh, visitors are limited at the hospital. So um, yeah, we still got, still got an issue to fix. <laughs> hey, tall girl, you ready or what? Is that good enough? Okay, let's get you unloaded. So there, you see, I found a spot, but this person is gonna struggle to find a spot. So, kinda not, not cool when this could be being utilized for our oversized vans. But you could say, well, why are you driving an oversized van? And I would say, because I have a child in a wheelchair. <laughs> That needs that needs the space in the van for 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 her lifestyle, and uh, also I'm noticing over here that she's got to put on her blinkers. Nobody's helping her to move some cones to like maybe find a way to park in here. I even asked the guy at the gate when I was coming in what the parking looked like for oversized vans, and he just said, kind of gruffly actually, he's like. Uh, you know, if you could just find one somewhere. Okay, well, thanks, dude. Appreciate, appreciate your help. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? You're doing so good. I can't believe how still you're staying, kid. You're doing a great job. You're playing a good statue. You're a good statue, kid. Okay, that was both a pain in the butt and really easy. It was easy for Hudson. Pain in the butt for myself. Uh, the table is set in the wrong direction. Uh, most of us are right-handed, and most of us have our kids with their heads on our left and their feet on our right when you set them down. However, that table that we had to put her on, her feet needed to be to the left and her head to the right. And there was no way to walk around the back side of the table. So had to like get her there and then sit her up on the edge of the table and kind of turn her and then lay her back down. So it was a big pain in the butt. And that was the opposite of that, getting her back up and then to her chair. So she, uh, she's got a diaper. So fingers crossed it does not smell like a BM. So we've come into the family changing room. That's the accessible one that they put in. You can see that, uh, you know, wheelchair under the counter, uh, bars, Riften chair, and this changing table, which is actually adjustable. We can raise it and lower it. I've got it raised, of course, because I'm a tall person. And then an additional sink. And then there's an automatic door with an automatic lock that lets people know that this is occupied. Speaking of that, we were waiting forever outside of this bathroom to use it. And there was a typical person who was an employee that works here that was using this restroom for some reason. Alone. Perfectly capable of using a typical restroom. Whatever. It's a restroom. But uh, yeah, not fair. Anyway, going to get her changed and head home. So, yeah, I, I feel like I'm doing a lot of complaining today. <laughs> All right, dudes. Don't do any bears. All right, yeah. Here, put these away for a second. We did get free cookies when we came in the door, though, so that's nice. Yeah, great for my diet.
through the magic of editing, Hudson diaper changed. Okay, done. That was quick. For the hopsters. Not so much for us, was it? And washing time. <laughs> no paper towels. Oh, there's some over here. Yeah, there are. Backwards hoodie is a good trick for a chilly day. Mm -hmm. Take that hoodie, one sleeve, put it on backwards. Other sleeve. That's what we need to do, Hudson Hand. We need to make a line of hoodies. Uh huh that are decorative on the back. That's what we need. Uh -huh. That's what we need. Zip up hoodies that are decorative on the back with that covered <laughs> for cold days, right? And a little decorative stuff right here. That'd look good, wouldn't it? What do you think? Should we make one? I know if it existed, I'd buy that. You're not gaggy, but we'll keep it. Keep it safe there, just in case. Okay, we've been home for a bit, and uh, Hudson's asleep downstairs. Casey's working. Dominic is finishing his homework, and um, he's actually doing pretty well. I spent the rest of this, since we got home, cutting up cardboard, and I, it's still not all gone. Cardboard is like, I swear it's the bane of my existence. Packages just show up and it doesn't all fit in the recycling can. So I got to cut it into little pieces so it'll fit in there. And I got a lot of cardboard. But part of why I have a bunch is I got an early Christmas gift from Casey's parents. So I got it out and put it together. And it is this cool workbench that uh, I uh, had on my list. It lowers and raises and it has drawers in it pretty cool but uh it came in a big old box that i had to cut most of it up and uh filled up the recycling anyway we have received some amazon gifts packages that are gifts that are for christmas and so i just i am not looking forward to all of the cardboard that i have to cut up in this next month <laughs> it's 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 all the time anyway holiday season gets even worse but um so i am gonna go ahead and sign out the vlog little strange fast one you know to the hospital and back just a catch-up vlog i am getting ready to run to the store and grab some stuff i'm gonna make some tacos for tonight and i gotta get a couple of other Taco! items yeah tacos right buddy yes so uh with that i'm going to sign out the vlog uh dominic you want to help me do it yeah we'll see Choose a world you may be one person, but to one person, you may be the world. So go be somebody's world. That's right. And get shirt from seasightspam.com. Yeah, if you want to. So, yeah. they make uh, 
Hopester shirts would make great holiday gifts, right? And Dad. What? Um, we haven't had a Hopester sign up for a blog in a long time. I know. We sure would like one. Send us your closeouts to our Facebook page or our email that you can find through our website. Okay, that does it. Love you guys. Cherry, where are you going? Can you say bye? <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Holidays come out again and reappear. Here's the picture. Hold on, let me. Hudson. Hudson. Do you want to see the picture? Hudson. Thanks, you look. Okay. Until then, I wish every girl and each boy a Christmas of peace and a year full of joy.